Hi, would you like a really quick and easy way to shorten a top or t-shirt um, without actually doing any uh, stitching whatsoever uh, with the sewing machine? Um, you, it does require a little bit of hand stitching but very minimal um, and it um, will shorten the t-shirt, make it look really good and it can probably be done inside of 10 minutes. So enjoy the video, it's not, it doesn't take very long at all. This particular t-shirt had a cover stitch hem on it where it has two or three rows of stitching on the right side and overlocking on the underneath. With cover stitch, if you unpick the straight stitching on the right side, the overlocking underneath will unravel. I chose um, elastic that would fit into the hem allowance that also had good elasticity and I used a darning needle with a very very large eye which also has a very blunt end on it. Whenever I'm doing something like this what I want to do is I want to find where the cover stitch began and also I want to make sure that rather than unpicking because I want to unpick two little stitches on this I don't want to unpick it at the front I want to unpick it at the back. So I'm just checking to find out where the back of it is and I found where the cover stitch began and I'm just um, putting my quick unpick into one stitch and then the second stitch and then doing it because there's two rows on this one I'm doing it the same on the second row. Then what I will do, so I'm going to cut those two threads no more, just two stitches on each row and then I'm going to just um, slip the needle into the hem allowance. Now when you do this it might get caught if you um, if you catch it on the side seam and I actually did and I left that in because I wanted to show you so just take the needle back out and then um, kind of just roll it a little bit in your fingers until you can get the gap between the seam allowances and pop your needle through and as I said before this needle has a very very blunt rounded uh, tip on it so it's not going to stick into the fabric and that, then it's just a matter of threading that all the way around the t-shirt. Have you ever started to thread elastic or um, something into a garment only to find that it pulls through. So what I'm doing here is I'm just popping a pin into the end of the elastic so that as I thread it and pull it through I don't end up pulling the elastic all the way through and having to start again. So if you just secure the end it saves a little bit of time. Now because I always have my sewing machine set up I just zigzag the, um, the elastic together but you could do that by hand as long as you make sure that you secure it and then it's just a matter of popping it back in and then what we want to do is um, I'm just showing you the needle there we just want to put those two stitches back onto the, um, the t-shirt and that will also ensure that it doesn't unravel because if you get the right uh, thread on a cover stitch it will unravel so I'm just um, going across creating a stitch so it looks like it was, wasn't touched um, on both rows of um, stitching.
So you, the, you have um, shortened a t-shirt in probably less than five minutes um, and I'll show you the difference between the two. So you can see that, you know, that's shortened it by a good four inches. And, you know, where you wear it now will depend on what you're wearing it with. Um, with the elastic, just pop it around your waist and just fiddle with it a bit until you get it so that, you know, if you pull it like that, it's reasonably firm, but it's not too tight. 